Why did I open a shop in the first place? Uh, it seemed to be a logical progression for me from being a hobby dealer and also running shows in London to opening a shop of my own and it's been successful, it's been a successful thing. Do I particularly specialise in anything? Yes, I think I, I specialise in TV and film, particularly Star Wars, Doctor Who and also um, I also specialise in modern hours. I'm a collector, yes, very definitely. It's how I started and it's how I still see myself. Um, most serious dealers would have started as, as collectors and I think it gives you an edge. Um, what do I collect? I collect 1950s, 1960s space, space toys. Um, and I also like 1920s, 90s, 30s tin plates. And just recently, I've got myself back into uh, Hornby Gate pre-war stuff. And that's proven an interesting. What's the best thing about running a shop? I think it's the, the amount and variety of stuff that walks in the door. You never know from one day to the next what's going to come in. Um, also, if you see a wide cross-section of humanity that walks in the door with it. And that makes it interesting too. What would be the rarest or most unusual thing I've had? I think it would probably be Action Man and it would be a carded Action Man cricketer. And that went for three and a half thousand. The other rare thing I think would be a carded Action Man Space Explorer and that went for three thousand. Is it difficult to sell items sometimes? Yes it is. There are some things that I have in the shop that I've actually refused to sell to people because I've been unable to part with them. And I think that's actually part and parcel of being a collector as well as a dealer. Um, it's an incredible dichotomy that I've never been able to solve. What advice would I give to somebody thinking of opening their own shop? Think really hard. You're taking something that you enjoy and to take it into to make it into a living, you're going to turn it into a daily grind, a daily drudge. It will take a lot of the interest and excitement out of it. The other thing is, the overheads are something that people really don't think of until the six months in. Look very, very carefully at what it's going to cost you and make sure that you've got enough money, if you do do it, to last the first 12 months, which is probably the hardest part of it. After all that, it's a really, really satisfying way uh, to make a living. You meet a lot of interesting folk, and at the end of the day, you get to buy most of their toys.